Hello and welcome to another tutorial demon tutorial and today as you probably would have guessed you know by clicking the uh, title and shit we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to play Win how to play PlayStation 2 games on Windows 8 or 8.1 I'm using 8.1 but I've also used a Windows 8 for this as well and even Windows 7 but this works great on Windows 7 basically um but for Windows 8 and 8.1 users, there there's some things you're going to have to do to get it to work right for you, just to let you know. Because for some reason, this is really just only designed, and I don't even know if this will ever run on Windows 10. Shit, I have no idea. Maybe someone will make a version for it, I don't know. But here we go, Windows 8. And for Windows 7, you won't need to do some of the, some of the extra stuff I'm going to be doing. So, But here you go, so you want to play your favorite PlayStation 2 games? Well, and it's also completely free, by the way. Here we are. So uh, what you want to do is you want to download PC SX2. I'm just going to have it in the description, the, the link. So just look in the description. You want to download the latest standalone version. Uh, so you want to download like that. <laughs> Save. I've already downloaded and installed it, so I'm not going to do that. <coughs> oh, God. Do that again. But, uh... But yeah, so you want to download it, go through the setup, uh, and once you're done setting this up, you're basically, you're done with that. But before you can actually start playing your games, here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to download the PlayStation 2 BIOS. So yeah, you're going to need to download this, which links in the description once again to download this. Alright. So once we're done downloading all that, the next thing to do is to open it up. And also, for PlayStation 2 games, there will be a download uh, link in the description. So, if you are interested in getting your PlayStation 2 games or whatever, there you go. Uh, like, so, it's completely free once again. You can get all your favorite old PlayStation 2 games. The website that I have in my, uh, in, in my description does not have all of every single game that was designed for PlayStation 2, because that's a lot. But it does have most of the popular ones, like uh, God of War and shit, so you can play that in a spyro and stuff so you're gonna have to go now this is uh this is you're gonna, you're gonna have to go to uh plug it in bio settings for battle with the emulation go to plug it in bio selector wait for that wait for it wait for it wait for it oh shit not responding not responding okay okay there we go they're just trying to you know fake me out all right so you want to select the you want to select USA 2002 PlayStation BIOS or a PlayStation 2 BIOS right there. Okay, then you want to hit apply. We'll wait for that to freeze in a little bit. Hold on. And okay, there we go. And now you have your BIOS. Now this is where you're gonna to have to go the uh, extra step. By the way for Windows 8 and 8.1 users. You're going to find that when you first try to open this, let me close it right quick. When you first try to open this, this is not going to open. You're going to be like, oh shit, it's crashing. It's not opening for me. Compatibility issue. What's going on? So you want to go over here. You want to right click it and you want to make sure you run it as administrator. And if that doesn't work, then you want to go to properties, compatibility, and you want to go to run this program in, compat in compatibility mode for Windows 7 or for Windows XP. Or Windows Vista, whichever one works for you. Just keep trying until one of them works. So Windows 7 usually works for me. Apply, okay. And there you go. Look at that. And uh, also for Windows 8 and Apple One users, the bad thing is this program is not designed to work with Windows 8. So it may crash. Uh, for me, it crashes like every every 30 to 40 minutes which is not a problem for me because usually I reach a checkpoint by then so that's not really an issue for me but you know it because it's not it so yeah so just remember every 30 to 40 minutes this probably will crash or it's gonna lag or something like crazy so just be there a save point or something man so you know be careful but uh next you're gonna have to go to if you uh, you're gonna have to go to uh, video settings Go to plugin settings and you want to change this to direct x11 direct 3d 11 if it's not already there and i have mine on hardware so yeah if you have a really really shitty computer then you want to put that in opengl the graphics are gonna look terrible but you know 
I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do if you got like a really, really shitty computer. And yeah, you can play around with these settings to get the best graphics possible. But yeah, but just note, uh, sometimes these graphics won't work with a lot of older games, so because they weren't meant to look that good, so you might notice some errors if you have it looking too good. Then character shading's gonna be fucked up. You just be very careful when editing the graph, when editing the plugin settings, because you know these are old games; they're not meant to look amazing in HD and everything, you know. So. Next, we're gonna go over to controller. Now, this this is the uh, this is the easy part of plugin settings controller. So you can either con uh, connect your Xbox 360 controller to your computer, or you can uh, you know get a USB uh, Logitech controller, whatever you want to use. I use Xbox 360 wireless controller. Let me connect it. All right, and my controller settings. Pad one. You want to make sure it's on Game Pad one. This can take up to two controllers, and well, yeah, that's PlayStation two, like two controllers. Anyway, well, there were some mods out there, but anyway, and you want to just bind all of these together. I'm not gonna rebind them. This is pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to catch on to. You know, even if you're not truly familiar with computers and whatnot, this should be pretty easy to catch on to with how to bind all these different keys together. Just focus on here. You press this button. I mean, it's like it's pretty easy. You press the like the square button, and then you press the X button on your uh, Xbox 360 controller, and there you go. Look at that. There you go. Or on your Logitech controller, basically. It helps if you have a PlayStation 2 controller. Like I have a PlayStation 2 controller next to me, so I kind of know where all the buttons go. Or you can just look on Google Images for PlayStation 2 controller. And look at that. Boom. So now you can see the different button layouts. That's where the square key would go, you know, so X would be A and square would be X and triangle would be Y, O would be B, etc. etc. Yeah. The only bad thing is if you are playing with an Xbox 360 controller, um, then you're gonna notice that the analog stick, the analog stick feels a little off compared to the PlayStation 2 controller, so that is one of the downsides. But uh, yeah, so that that is one of the biggest uh, downsides to this. So you won't fully be able, it won't feel like uh, like how it used to when you were a kid playing PlayStation 2, like myself. But uh, yeah, let's cancel that because I don't want to change any of my settings. But uh, and if you have any problems, then uh, uh, like uh, I know one time I ran into a big frame rate issue. <laughs> like if you run into any frame rate problems, this will really, really help you out. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make sure these settings are just copy my settings, pretty much. Just copy them. <laughs> just to get the best, and make sure you do not hit the tab key. The tab key is turbo mode. That is great for getting past loading screens. Like I use it to just get past loading screens, but make sure you always have the tab. You make sure you always have it in normal mode. All right. Just want to make sure. So just copy my settings, base frame rate 100, slow motion adjust 50, turbo adjust 200. Yeah, just copy these. Just might want to pause the video to just copy them, just to make sure you run into no problems. And uh, speed hacks, I have, just copy these settings as well. I had to play around with them. Uh, disable all game fixes, because that can really fuck up your game, so yeah. There we go. And copy, just copy these settings as well for the EEICP. Copy those. Just copy my settings. There you go. All right, I'm gonna X that off. Now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna actually gonna put up a game right quick. As you can see, I have Star Wars Force Unleashed, Dragon Ball Z. These take up a little bit of space. Like each game takes up around four gigabytes. It takes up around three and a half to four and a half gigabytes. So keep that in mind. These games take up a shit ton of space. So I'm gonna boot up. Uh, let's say I'm gonna boot up Dragon Ball Z Tenkai uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 2 because I loved that game so much growing up. So uh, I'm gonna boot this just to show you. <laughs> Ah, memories. Good old fashioned memories. Yeah, you see it's a uh, normal frame rate of around 59 to 60 FPS, which I think originally this game was clocked at 40, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
I think originally for like the PlayStation 2 it was clocked at 40 FPS. But I am not sure on that. Do not quote me on that. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, you know, because I don't know if I'm wrong or not. And we're just going to skip past all this. And like I said, games tend to crash every 30 to 40 minutes. So that is like normal because it's because it's not really compatible. Dragon, it's a challenge, Kakarot. Okay, that on. is a little loud. Alright, that's just a little too loud. But there you go. So you get the basic idea of this, and yeah. So you can play all your favorite games and shit, man. It's pretty awesome. And if you want to go into full screen mode, all you gotta do is double click this. Just double click it, and there. Now you're in full screen mode. And now we're out of full screen mode by double clicking. But there you go. And like I said, to get past loading screens, press the tab button. Uh, because it just really ups the frame rate. I'm gonna show you. I wanna, I wanna make Gohan talk like a, like a squirrel. Shit. Hold on. You hear that? Oh my god, do you hear that? It's like a speed racer. It's like a speed racer episode. Oh my god. So that's, you know, it really helps for skipping loading screens by pressing the tab key. Pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, just to give you, I want to do a quick duel right quick. Oh shit, I didn't mean to go to ultimate training. Did not mean to do that. Uh, no, we're gonna be back. Get out of that, Vegeta. Sorry, Vegeta. We don't wanna. We don't wanna train with you because you know we don't like you. I'm just kidding. Vegeta's my favorite character. Alrighty. And if tell me who your favorite DBZ character is in the in the uh, in the comments, just tell me. Let's go, Goku. I haven't completed this game yet. Uh, well, I completed it on PlayStation 2. I haven't completed it on PC yet. Not just yet. Oh, let's go, Piccolo. Yeah, there we go. And also, this game is slightly broken. I will admit, the texture for Goku is broken uh, for Goku and Kid Trunks. For some reason, it's the port of this game. The texture is... It, it, like, it kind of looks normal, but you can see in his face. His face looks kind of off. And his hair. Look at his hair. Goku has a bald spot, man. Goku has a fucking bald spot. That is not cool. But it's just it's the version of this game. I mean, it's only... It can only be so good. I mean, they're taking this from PlayStation 2 and trying to put it on PC. So, it can only be so good, but... Who knows, maybe you might get a better version than I have. It's only for Goku and Kid Trunks. It's perfectly fine for every other character. <laughs> yeah, and... All right, let me not let me not get carried away with playing this because I'm, I'm a certain player. I'm getting my ass to pick a level. All right. Anyway, uh, so that that's that wraps up this tutorial. See you later in another uh, tutorial, Demon tutorial. If you want more of these, make sure to subscribe, like, uh, comment, tell me who your favorite DBZ character is, and I really want to know. And there you go. And if you have any problems, make sure to comment as well because I wanna I wanna help you out. If you have any problems with this, because I had a lot of problems because this is really not very compatible with Windows 8 at all, especially 8.1. So if you have any problems with those with those operating systems, tell me below so I can help you out because it I had to take hours customizing shit just to get this to work. So I might have missed a few things in this video. Just remember to copy my settings and if you have any problems just tell me. Alright. See you later.